hey guys thank you so much for tuning back into my channel it is your girl princess jess and today we are doing a kind of sort of like really 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 different video like since i've had my channel i've never sat down and like had a conversation with my subscribers or 600 and i think 51 of y'all or 52 i do still really appreciate y'all and i appreciate the people who aren't subscribed but still watch face because you know i see y'all so um today i'm just gonna be telling you guys some shit about me that you know, I asked you guys some questions on Instagram as well as on my Finsta and I got some questions that I, I wrote down and I'm just going to get in tune and answer these questions for y'all. Alright, so the first question is what's my name? Uh, my name is Jessica. I will not be disclosing my last name because that's kind of like weird. Um, but my name is Jessica. Um, I'm 21 years old and I live in New York City, okay? Like those are the first three questions so I just like put it in one for you guys um what's your favorite color my favorite color is pink like come on come on like in all of my videos i literally say the same freaking thing because that's my freaking favorite color pink like that's just like my life okay the next question is do you have a best friend and the person who asked me this like duh like <laughs> i do have a best friend his name is janiel we've been best friends since high school like you know like we fell off for a little bit but then we came like right back at it and that's literally my my heart like that's my that's my guy like that's my that's my good sis okay all right um what's the next question why don't you have a pet even though you're always fiending for one okay for those who don't live in new york city fiending means like i'm doing the most like i always post dogs on my instagram that's why i'm assuming this person um commented like i love like teacup puppies like i think that is like so like come on bro like so cute i wouldn't mind like a big ass pug but anyways the reason why i don't have a dog is because i'm african and in this african household that i live in my mother would never permit an animal running around the house shitting and peeing on our carpet that's exactly why i do not have a dog now when i do move out I absolutely will be copying a dog because I need me a little companion. Like I, I like I really want to walk around in my Louis Vuitton bag and my dog being in there peeking out like, hey, hey guys, how's it going? Like I just I need I need that. Anyways, um, the next question is, when are you having kids? First, first of all, like I don't even know why I'm honestly answering this question because the answer is never. Um, and even if I do have kids, it's not going to be until like I'm in my 30s for the simple fact that I want to live my life. I want to start a career in business. I want to get money. I want to have money to have a kid. Because no shade, no tea. A lot of people have children. One. Two. Out of wedlock. If you have, that's, I'm not judging. But that's just not the life that I want to live. Out of wedlock, I want to have my kids married and like financially set. I, I personally don't want to have a kid that I can't afford. Like... Just like I wouldn't want to live a life that I can't afford. I don't want to have a kid that I cannot afford. So I wouldn't have kids until I'm like 30. Big ups to the mothers who actually sit there and take care of their kids. Because that is like the hardest job on this freaking planet is taking care of a kid. Um, one question. The next question is, do you have any siblings? I actually do. Um, I have two older siblings. I'm the youngest. I'm the only girl as well. So... Growing up, I was a tomboy my entire, entire life until I hit like, I would say until I graduated high school, like my last, my senior year is really when I started like, you know, being more of a girl, being more feminine, like doing my makeup more and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I have two brothers. Um, I'm not going to disclose their names if, you know, kind of not their channel. But um, yeah, one is 30, like five. And then my other brother is 25. Like they're they're older than me. And then I'm 21. So like it's my mom took her time with us, okay? Alright, the next question is what's the most embarrassing moment? Okay. So me personally, first of all, I have like the I have the worst moments ever, like all the time. I have like the most embarrassing moments. But the one that takes the tea or takes the cake is definitely when I'm driving. I always get in a, not always, but sometimes, like, if I'm going into a lane in New York City, like, sometimes, like, they don't properly have the lanes lined up for you. Like, there'll be cones, like, in the way of the lanes, and it's just, like, 
so when the cars are behind me like honking i get so embarrassed because like damn you dumb bitch like you can't like follow instructions on where to go and where to drive so i guess like that's like really the most embarrassing thing because like i don't know i feel like i should like i could draw so like when they be talking to me or like honking at me and like you know flashing their lights at me being all rude i just be like sir relax okay relax okay the next question is um are you single i am absolutely not single okay i'm in a whole relationship i've been with my boyfriend for a year now we just made a year a few weeks ago and that is my l-o-v-e that is my book like that's my like that's my babe like that is my guy he is my twin flame like that's just we not gonna get all into that i mean i might introduce him to you guys one day like when i like get more people to watch your girl but yeah like i am in a relationship the next question is kind of like weird it's ass it says <laughs> what is your shoe size okay so i have two shoe sizes which everybody has um well every girl has um in boys grade school i'm either a size five or five and a half depending on the make of the shoe um and women i'm a six and a half or a seven in the shoes depending on the make of the shoes so i differ between the shoes depending on how wide it is how long it is like i've even had um to get like a pair of shoes that was a size eight because it's actually sandals i had to get a size eight because like it ran super duper small so i was just like fuck it um yeah um the last question that i'm gonna answer is where do i work um i have two jobs now currently um, i just recently got hired um for a position at a bank teller for being a bank teller and then my other job is i work at finish line that is a sneaker store um we sell a, we sell a lot of shoes okay um if you guys actually want me to make a video on how you can like get shoes in person like how to get um shoes on the day of the release or on a drop or how do you know when you're getting shoes and the reason why nike's been pushing back dates and shit like that just let me know down in the comment section below all right y'all so while i have y'all attention let's get in tune with the jewelry today okay like everyone that knows me knows that i like i just love jewelry i love how it speaks for you without you having to say anything i just love it just being there and as i can see i'm not even talking that much and y'all just see what, what we got going on okay so i have this jewelry sent to me by anna louisa they are out here in new york city in brooklyn actually and they sent me three amazing pieces okay so the first piece that i have on i'm actually going to show you guys like close-ups of the jewelry because i'm not pretty sure if y'all can see it but like it's super gorge okay the first piece that i have on is the juicif cuban um chain and it's this chain down here not the chain with the heart um the chain that's just going around my neck and as you guys can see it's just so cute um i don't want to say it's like a choker but it just lays on your neck perfectly i think it's like 16 inches um the necklace is approximately 16 inches and i love it um i've recently started getting into this whole thing of like layering my jewelry and as y'all can see like it comp they complement each other like so so well so well the second necklace that i have is their moonstone necklace this one down here this has to be my favorite piece and then these earrings which are like literally my favorite earrings i think i'm gonna wear this like with every outfit that i wear this summer this is the paris twisted hoop earring and as y'all can see super gorge and i have my doubles pierced i did have my triples but as y'all can see like it complements it so well like come on like seriously like yes okay so if you actually want to get 10% off of this jewelry, you can go ahead and use my discount code. I will link my discount code in the description box below as well as I will link their website and the links to all three of these jewelry. So my code is PrincessJess10, which makes sense because, you know, it's my YouTube channel. Their pieces range from as low as $39, which is absolutely amazing for the material and the quality that you're getting. You could, I don't recommend it. You could literally take a shower in your jewelry and it won't rust, it won't turn green, it won't turn like, you know, that weird ass rose gold color that you get when you order a Fashion Nova um, anklet. No shade, no tea, but we all know that's a fact, okay? Ana Luisa does sustainable jewelry, meaning that it's not harming the environment at all. You have no excuse not to get it, okay? And again, that 10% off, right here, 
Princess Just 10, okay? Do not forget, okay? Get in tune with this jewelry. Like, come on. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel as always. I do sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys in the next video.